Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will learn on how to use meetings effectively. So let's start by looking at some of the features of a team meeting. Right, so I'm in this meeting all by myself. Now I want to go ahead and add more participants. So you can go into the show participants icon here and I can add anybody I want. So for example, I'm going to add Hitesh, right? So I can just click on him and I can add him to the meeting. I can go ahead and chat in a meeting. So I can click on the chat icon here and send out a message. You can also exchange files in a meeting. So you can upload from your computer or from your OneDrive for Business and you can share files. You can also use emoticons or formatted text in a meeting. So that's typically in the chat panel. Now let's go and take a look at the three dots here. So here you have options to record the meeting. So you can see that the meeting has already been recorded as indicated by the red sign here. It shows who has started the recording. You can go ahead and turn on the live captions, which is a preview feature for now, but you can go ahead and use that. So as you can see, it will automatically give me a real time transcript in English of whatever is being spoken in the meeting. Now this is again using AI capabilities of Microsoft Teams and this is made for accessibility scenarios. So if somebody is hard of hearing, he can at least read the subtitles of the meeting. Now let's make the meeting more inclusive. So I'm going to start my video by turning the camera on. Right. So this is a quick way in which I can turn on video. Now, if you notice that I have this bottle behind me and I have a few wires dangling up and I don't like that. So I can go ahead and blur this out. So this is again using contextual AI where it is blurring out all the edges of my face and all of the background images around it. Right. So you can go ahead and do that. I can then go ahead and enter full screen to view this in a full screen mode. I can also start taking meeting notes. So I can just say take notes and it'll ask me to start typing away and I can then capture meeting notes. I can also select which devices are connected to this meeting. So for example, I want to change my headset. I can go ahead and plug in my laptop speakers if I want to. I can select which is my camera. I can also select private viewing if I want participants to view the slides privately. So I can do all of those things. You have the options here to start sharing your screen. So I'm already sharing my screen. So that's what you can see. Note that when I'm sharing my screen, my status is automatically set to do not disturb. So it is cognizant that you are sharing and it will not allow any contacts to reach out to you unless you set them as priority contacts in the change settings option. Now notice that when I'm recording this meeting as well, it says that you are recording. So we want to notify people that this is a recorded meeting. This is again from a privacy perspective. You can see the status of things here. So for example, I can start, you can see that I'm recording. You can also see that closed captions are turned on and you can see that this is only in English. So those are some of the top things that you can do in a meeting.